the kind of weather. Great, eh? Me can make it up. But anyway, it's Tuesday the 8th of August and it is 20 past 8 and it's raining yet again. We are just waiting for the joist to turn up. Um, we are waiting for the Arctic to turn up. We've got the forklift prime ready to go, ticking over. Uh, and uh, we're going to offload these, put them straight on the plot. And then hopefully we can get some joist on this week. If the rain eventually stops. We take delivery today, that's the main thing. And then the chippy's coming Thursday. So he's going to put the joist on. And then I've also asked him to make up a dummy truss for the abutment. Uh, for the garage um, so we can do our lead trays we'll take delivery of these hopefully shortly waiting here patiently I've got a lot to do and uh, I ain't got time to be waiting around for the joist but let's see when they arrive and we'll get them up on the plot here we go then the joist have arrived let's get them off so as I said these are the posi joists so here's the webbing I'll go through these in a little bit more detail later on but here they are, so top pack for us. Right, that is the joist safely in position so next stop is get them on so they're all in there later on i'm going to drag up a couple of the purlins or the big trimmers uh, get them out of the way and then we're going to lift up the joist actually onto the loading bay i'm actually going to get that loading bay moved back into the garage area just to create a little bit more room for us going forward because i need to get some uh, blocks dropped in there and transport some more bricks from our yard uh, joists are on site so next step let's get them on so i'll see you when they start going on Right, joists are basically complete. It's quarter to 12, so Chippy started about eight. Uh, so all the joists are on now, so all we've got to do is just floor them. So, cracking job, nothing missing, which makes a change from the joist supplier. So thank you very much, Pasquils. The last supplier wasn't as good, so glad I changed this time. Not a thing missing. Let's have a quick look and give you a tour of the joist, and then we'll get, let them get the flooring on, and I'll do a proper tour uh, later on, and I'll get out of their way. So anyway, all the joists are in position now. So you see the stairwell over there. Well, I'm not sure you can, but stairwell towards the front there where the ladder is, uh, but all in position. So then all they got to do is floor it, got the flooring over there, got the tubs of glue, uh, but that's it, lads have done a cracking job and just got to floor it now. So they'll be out of here pretty soon, won't take them long. Done a really good job. It's nice and neat. All the walls set out expertly by Terry, millimetre precision. So I'll get this flooring on and then I'll come back and do a tour later on.
Right, we're back again. Sunday the 13th of August. I didn't get a chance to get here Friday. So I popped out here today so I could give you guys a little bit of an update. So joist complete, flooring complete. I'll take you around everything. We'll have a quick look and I'll go through little bits and pieces uh, on the joist and the flooring. So let's have a quick tour. So the clock is ticking now because we have to get this plot in the dry because you only get a certain amount of time from the joist insulation and the cable deck flooring going on before you're supposed to be watertight. So you have 42 days from when the cable deck is installed to being in the dry. That's the cable deck specification. So what's that, just under eight weeks, I think, seven weeks, I think, maybe something like that, seven and a half weeks. So you've got 42 days, so already a couple of days in, so I'm probably down to about 39 days before I've got to have the roof on and felt and battened in and in the dry, just to keep the integrity of the floor um, good. Otherwise it will start warping, it will start sealing, the seals will start breaking etc etc so you also have to use a special type of glue which is d4 glue and you will see the excessive amount across all the joist and even underneath the joist so it's got to go everywhere this glue so it drips down onto the bird cage below don't know whether you can see that but the warranty providers like to see excessive amounts of glue on everywhere coming out through the flooring on the seals on the tongue and groove you know through the bottom of the joist you can see it here all over the posi joist. So the flooring itself, you've got 42 days and the glue is good for 60 days. So we have to work to the lower end to 42 days. So I've got to do a third lift brickwork, a fourth lift brickwork, and then the roof can land as well. So the chippies have also made me a dummy truss now, which I will use for my insulation of my lead trays on my garage. Um, uh, so we're pretty much good to go. So we're going to do five courses of blocks on here and 15 courses of bricks and then the scaffold will go up as well so hopefully hopefully you can see the benefit of the posi joist now so obviously you can see the big voids here so you can imagine all your uh, plumbing work all your electrical work can all go through all the way through these joists now look you see right through to the other end and you can get all your services through all your cabling through um, all your soil and vent pipes all your waste everything can just be easily sent straight through here without cutting of joist notching of joist normally you'd have a web from here to here on a typical joist but i don't particularly like it like that so these are the straps that have to be built in so this noggin will probably go significantly back over a few joists uh, you'll see a few of them spotted um, round positioned in certain places according to the drawing so they've done a really cracking job with a joist these lads so you see this peeling up a little bit here look this is what you start getting if you leave it too long so 42 days and counting or oh, 39 now so this is the garage side uh here's the glue so like i said certain type of glue it's got to be d4 as you can see on here cable fix d4 and you see it's good for 60 days exposure so got you this flooring is p5 and it says on here as well look 42 days on the cable deck waterproofing and slip resistance so this is this is this protection here so you don't want loads of water in there you want to get a wiggle on you want to get it in the dry i've known it before when there's been issues with roof tiles and um you know supply of certain things materials bricks blocks look, flooring before has had to come off and be completely redone across developments through no fault of the builders um their sales just a supply train issue so again you can see all the excessive glue coming through so this is a stairwell area now this is where my stairs will come in uh, you can see all of this glue is purposely put like that and you also have to seal the edge of the floor as well to stop water ingress there so they cover it all with glue all the way around uh, just to give it sort of a waterproof seal so that's the stairwell area where my stairs are coming so we'll take this bird cage out so we can clear clean it all out ready for the underfloor heating to go in eventually again is another strap so you will see this strap goes all the way back over one two three four five four or five joists and then we'll be good to go so another thing you need to consider when you're setting out the perimeter of your floor and your wall is you need to allow for a clear perimeter gap all the way around the entire building of about 10 mil between the block work and the flooring. It shouldn't be touching anywhere because of sound transmission. So we're gonna have 
one quarter blocks in the joist four on top of it so that gives us five in total and then we're going to bring up the brickwork level which is 15 quarters of bricks and then that is the bottom of the next floor windows so so this would be the the block work eventually when it comes up so you can see we've got a clear perimeter gap here uh, so there's no sound transmission between ground floor and top floor so eventually when you come to clean the house once it's all done you want to clean out the floors you have to go around and clean this perimeter edge and make sure it's clear of any mortar debris etc stuff like that that particular perimeter edge will be checked on pre-plaster inspection by the warranty provider so when you're about ready to dry line you have to call in a pre-plaster and they will check everything they will check all the first fix plumbing electric uh, make sure everything's good make sure all your lintels are bedded on correctly make sure there's no holes in any block work make sure your perimeter is clear and if you get the green light then you can go ahead and start boarding so there, that would be the the block work eventually that height up there so obviously i've stood a block on edge because that's two quarters of blocks so two four and the top one being the five and then we'll bring the brickwork up there to that height as well so that's the height of off the floor to the top of that block is the bottom of our deepest window so right then we're on the home straight the clock is now ticking roof trusses have been designed only about seven or eight day cool off for them much improved on our last development which was about a 12 week cool off which i think goes to show the uh, slowdown in the industry because materials are coming down in price and uh, cool off times are significantly reduced but the total amount of flooring on here so there's 71 square meters in total but that does include the stairwell so if we knock off a couple of uh, square meters so that's about 69 square meters which is about 750 square foot so 750 square foot on the first floor 750 on the bottom floor so that's 1500 and then i've got a few square meters that will eventually be in my garage which is going to be my ensuite so the cable deck and flooring is 2.4 long by 600 mil wide and that works out to be about 1.44 square meters per board so all you need to do is take 69 square meters divided by the 1.4 and that's how you how many sheets of of uh, boarding you need always get a few extra because the chippy i make you some um, spot boards which he's kindly done for me here so that worked out to be around 47 48 sheets if you look online look on travis etc it's the, the online sort of list list price of cable deck flooring this is 22 mil it does come in a slightly shallower depth uh, it's about 17 18 quid i'd probably pick that up for maybe 12 13 if i speak to my local rep so it's always good to have a little shop around uh, don't tend to get it off the joist supplier because it'd be quite expensive uh, as opposed to the joist which are always really cost effective so have a little shop around um, and make sure you get enough glue so it's 12 bottles of glue to a box so an area like this probably would specify one box would do it it's never going to be enough on this planet get two boxes so you've always got a few more bottles you don't want to skimp on the glue because you'll end up with squeaky floors you'll end up with water ingress in the tongue and groove and then you've got a whole host of problems on your hand so we got third lift brickwork next week which is going to be week commencing the 14th of august we'll get that done in a week we'll get the scaffolding up and the following week we are heading to plate so all systems go super excited to get that done dummy truss is here so that's not going to hold us up so we'll get the main roof on then we'll adapt the scaffolding and we'll put the roof on the garage and we'll put the roof on the house and we'll be in the dry before you know it tiles are on a two-week cool off last development they were on a 16 week cool off <laughs> it's just incredible uh, readily available now uh, which is a uh, clear indication that things are slowing down like that so as ever thank you for watching hope you found it useful if you want to check out some of the other videos click the playlist on the screen now because that will have all of the stages we have currently covered in this build process which is apple tree house i keep calling it apple tree lodge my wife told me off it's apple tree house so you we started at site clearance and we're now at joist and i've covered all the stages in between so for me to you thanks for watching see you next time round. peace and love